Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISC podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. So with that, uh, you need to really respect the gamma when doing uh, calendars and diagonals, I think. And that's, a, you know, that's a great point, Mike. That's one of the, unfortunately, it's one of the uh, disadvantages of doing these calendars is that, you know, when you put a calendar on, I'm just going to pick a hypothetical number, for, you know, maybe a two-month calendar for a dollar, and we look at a risk graph and we know we can make, well, we don't know what we can make. Uh, you pointed that out because the volatility at the end, we don't know what that's going to be, but Let's just say that if we assume the volatility is going to remain the same, um, that short-dated option um, might be reduced, and maybe we, you know, you know, hopefully it's going to go away, uh, and uh, that option could dwindle to zero. But as Mike pointed out, um, if it's at the strike price, yeah, the time decay is working for you, but any sort of movement against you could really hurt you because now you're going to be short delta. So in the real world, you're probably going to cover these prior to expiration. Don't you feel that way, Mike? The calendars, even though we might look at them at expiration, you're probably going to roll them because at the you know the last week you're going to have a lot of gamma risk that you might not be willing to tolerate. Yeah, if I you know, and never say never. That's I guess another one of our rules that we have: never say never. But um, you know, typically the last week, I'm not a fan of being short options the last week most of the time. Maybe on a covered call and a stock that you're way out of the money with, it might be something to consider. Uh, or if you're fine owning the stock, or if you're fine with assignment, or the gamma risk doesn't matter in your situation, okay. But if you're planning on doing calendars and diagonals, uh, it's, I think it's very difficult sometimes not to uh, roll at least the last week. And I'm typically right. a fan of rolling just because of that gamma risk. Right. And that's, as you pointed out, Newbies say, okay, I'm always going to sell the short-dated option and buy the longer-dated option. But as Mike pointed out, number one, you've got to consider the volatility risk of the longer-dated option and the gamma risk of the short-dated op option. So um, I want to give everybody 30 more seconds to type any other questions. Mike, I want to thank you. Uh, great presentation um, because, again, this idea of reducing portfolio risk is so important for investors. And using diagonals and calendars, uh, is not something that people talk about so much, but it is extremely important because you can um, alter your risk profiles by selecting any of these strategies. We don't know which one is perfect, but if you understand options, you'll be able to decide which one makes sense for your portfolio um, based on your own goals and your own risk tolerances. So, Mike, I want to give you some closing comments before we end the webinar. Oh, thank you, Steve. Well, first off, you know, like as always, I want to thank the ISC for uh, letting me come present on their site. It's always an honor uh, working with a, the, the biggest options exchange. Uh, it, it is always an honor, Steve. And I want to thank you personally again. I know we have a lot of history together with uh, doing events together on the road, and uh, it's always a pleasure working with you and uh, making fun of the Jets every chance that I can get. But then again, my team, it doesn't necessarily – I really don't have much room to talk. Uh, so I, I do want to thank you for that. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention, folks, it's about risk. And you know, the old saying, worry about the risk, the rewards will take care of themselves. I'm a huge believer in that. And options are not about getting risk, when, or are, are not about getting rich quick. And whenever any, anyone says that, it, that, that sets off a button in me. And if you're looking to get rich quick, folks, go to Vegas. And this is coming from someone who earns his living off of people's commissions as well as fees for fee-based accounts. Don't do this if you're looking to get rich quick. It's not there. Uh, it's possible. I'm not going to deny that. But go to Vegas. It's a lot more fun. Uh, in regard to uh, what we do, uh, I love the option product. I've based my life around it and my career around it. Uh, I live, eat, breathe, and breathe, and smell, and sleep options. Uh, so if you do want to work with someone who has kind of an option background and uh, is really into this product specifically, I'm more than happy to serve you in any way that I can. Uh, and once again, thank you, Steve. Mike, thanks again. And, uh, you know, whether you are looking at equity options, index options, foreign currency options, ETF options, 
Mike can help you with any of that because you know what? Risk is risk. And then Mike pointed this out, whether it's dollar versus euro or looking at uh, an ETF, looking at specific equity risk, um, Mike can possibly help you with that. So you can contact Mike at m2startbrokersexpress.com. Send him an email. Uh, if you're interested in finding out about his services, uh, he'd be more than happy to talk to you. Mike, thanks so much again for uh, spending uh, the last hour and a half with us. Really appreciate it. Oh, happy to do it anytime. Thank you, Mike. I want to remind everyone that next week we have Stefan Choi with us. Stefan will be talking about um, how you as an investor, uh, you, might be, uh, you might want to uh, sign up for their services where they have a, uh, a platform that does a lot of neat, has what I call bells and whistles, whether it's earnings announcements, technical analysis things. They sell it to retail investors, sophisticated investors. Um, and so if you want to learn more about what uh, Stefan has at, and his firm is, uh, his site is called Live Vol. Um, please come with, come to the ISC webinar on September 1st. September 3rd, Jack Crooks will be talking about how currencies are valued. And I get this question very often, so I asked Jack if he would present on that topic. And so Jack will be with us uh, on September 3rd. So we have two webinars next week. Uh, and then we'll start, uh, then we have September 9th, Tony Hansen talking about long-term options, uh, FX options, and then Brian Overby on September 15th. So lots more webinars to come, uh, and we'll see uh, how the markets develop. Uh, but thanks again, Mike. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So on the behalf of the ISC, I want to thank Mike Tussaw for taking time out of his busy day, and all of you, the attendees for the great questions and for spending time with us. Remember, this presentation is archived, www.isc.com forward slash archives. If you want to get the risk doc, you can always go to optionseducation.org and uh, click on the risk doc uh, to learn more about the characteristics and risks of standardized options. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, on the behalf of the ISC, this is Steve Meisinger saying have a safe and happy trading day tomorrow. Bye now. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.